We're going to look at creating a sweep in the conceptual massing environment of Revit. So we have here a series of reference lines and arcs which are going to form the path of the sweep and we're going to place a oh, go away. We're going to place a point hosted on one of the lines. Now this point is going to then host a profile for the sweep and this is a recommended procedure by Autodesk and I think it's a good procedure because it allows you to move the point and rotate it and do various things like that so it gives you much better control. So what I'm going to do first is show reference planes set to always so that you can see the, uh, the work plane of that point and we will make sure that that is actually set as the work plane to place profile. So we'll start with a circle, model circle, place it on that point and there and this is very straightforward you pick the circle then you pick the path and you create form and there you go. Now I'm going to undo that and I am going to show you the I think the only situation in the conceptual massing environment where you can actually create a profile that has a loop within a loop. I don't know any other situation where you can get away with this, but create form and there you go. It has a hollow uh, sweep there which is good. The only problem is it's got these horrible joint lines which we will have to deal with some point later on. Now I'm going to actually undo because, no no, I'll do a redo. Uh, if you want to change that sweep you can go to edit profile and there you have your sketch and you can do whatever you want so you, we can change that to uh, 2000 and finish and there we go we've got much thicker lagging on a pipe or whatever it happens to be. Uh, we can also somehow if I select this change it to uh, x-ray you can actually select that and interestingly you can drag it to the side and at some point notice that uh, it's going to fail. So what's happening here is when I do that we get the unable to create form because of self intersecting geometry. So what's happening there is that the radius of one of these arcs here mean that the corners where the profiles are will intersect each other and that's why getting that message. That's quite a common message that you actually get when you're trying to create a form. So let us now go back to this and dissolve that because I want to show you one other little glitch that you get when you're using model lines. So I'm going to delete that, delete that. Notice the point has been changed and sometimes you actually it loses its hosting but I think in this case we're actually okay because it's still, but it has lost its property which was set to always display. So we might just see what happens. Yeah, no, it's 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 okay with its hosting, but uh, I have seen situations where the, the point becomes unhosted when you dissolve a, pr uh, a form that was created from model line profile. We're going to use a different method now, and that is to place a profile family and we have an adaptive oh first of all I'll start with a generic profile circle so if I were to place that there you can see what it looks like and I'll place one there and when I place it on set this to be the uh, work plan set that on there it doesn't Place. and I have checked and this is not set to always vertical or anything like that. Let me just check. There's no other settings, no. It would force it to go onto the right work plane. So that's a bit of a pest. And while we're here we might just select this and create a form. Unable to create form element and that is, it doesn't tell you why, but basically it doesn't like a loop within a loop 
for an extrusion, but it does with a sweep. One of Revit's many, many weird and wonderful inconsistencies. So back to where we were, create component. This time I'm going to go back to an adaptive component that I've made because an adaptive component is much better at hosting itself onto the point. Although, having said that, the rotation is very unpredictable. But in this case, I've got it all worked out and it's behaving itself. Uh, we might just stop there and escape. Select that. Select the path and create form. And there we have it. Now, if my profile had a hole in it, it wouldn't like that, or a loop within a loop rather, it wouldn't like it. So we might just undo that, select that, edit the family, and let's draw another circle model line. I need to set work plane to be same as the other one. We will load that into the project. Alright, there we have it. So we will select the profile, the path, and create form. Now, nah. see, it? this drives me nuts. Why is Revit so inconsistent? It lets you do it with two model line circles, but not with this profile with a loop with a loop. So let us do a control Z and we will go back to we'll, we'll, oh, actually what we'll do is replace we'll another component, a smaller one. And then even with those two selected, I know it's not going to work, so I'm only going to select the path and the outer one. Create form. That's quite happy. Now if I x-ray this and I select the small one and the path, I can create a void form. And it's very happy. It's cut. Now, notice something fabulous that it has done here. It has got rid of the joint lines. Now that is something that is incredibly useful later on because when you're creating NURB surfaces in Revit in the conceptual massing environment, by and large, it will have joint lines even when it shouldn't. And you will see that this uh, a line here, that's actually the model family. So I can hide that by a number of methods. And one method I have done is to go into view visibility and go to generic models. Oops, I haven't done it here. Let's go into the family and uh, fix that. So first of all, we'll get rid of, whoa. First of all, we'll get rid of that. Let us select this and change its, we could change it to invisible lines if we wanted, but I'm not sure that would work. So let us go to manage, object styles, and Grab that over into the screen and when you're in the massing or adaptive environment, even though it's a generic model, it still shows every category here, which is very frustrating. So we will call this profiles and close. You can select that, change its subcategory to profiles. Um, cut for it, projection doesn't really matter. And load that into the project overwrite and then when we go to view visibility we should have whoops let's just go a bit further profiles apply oh it's disappeared isn't that nice you got a nice clean surface there so I think 
that's probably about it for sweeps.